Hey guys, I wanna show you a really simple recipe for a zero point marinara sauce. I am currently following the MyWW program and this marinara for me on the blue plant is zero points. And so after we're done making this today, I wanna to show you one of my favorite ways to use it and that is in a low point pizza. So let's just get started. The first thing you wanna do is get a medium sized saucepan and heat it on medium. And you're just gonna add one teaspoon of olive oil to the bottom of your pan. Next going in is two to three cloves of garlic and I just smashed it with the edge of my knife. Um, you don't wanna mince it or chop it up, just kinda press it down. Put that in there and just kinda stir it around with your spoon until the garlic gets nice and warm. You don't want it to get too brown. You don't definitely don't want to let it burn. So keep an eye on it until you smell that good garlicky fragrance. Okay, next going in is a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And I've been splattered before in the past, so that's why I'm kind of being careful here. So just dump that in. Give a little stir. And next, um, we're gonna put in one teaspoon of dried oregano. This is a really simple recipe. It's, it comes together with just a few ingredients, but it's got a good flavor to it. Okay, next just pop in one bay leaf. Now if you want, you can add salt and pepper. I find that it's just fine the way it is. Give it a good stir, pop the lid on, and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And that's it guys, it's really that simple. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you my favorite way to use this marinara. I'm gonna use one of these low carb tortillas and give it a little spray with olive oil. And then just use my fingers to make sure the oil gets to the edge. Now I went ahead and transferred that marinara to a glass dish that I'm just, after I'm done using it right now, I'm just gonna pop the lid on and put it in the fridge to use throughout the week. Just spread a little bit of the sauce on that tortilla. Now because it is a tortilla, it's on the thin side, you're not going to want to, you know, put too many ingredients or too much sauce because they'll just weigh it down. Okay, so because I'm trying to keep my points low, I'm going to use a mixture of fat-free cheese and regular cheese. So I'm just going to use my food scale here to measure out a serving size of this fat-free cheese. And next, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this regular mozzarella. So, so far for me, that tortilla is a two point item. And then I use zero points of fat-free cheese and I'm gonna measure out about one point worth of this regular mozzarella. So now I'm up to three points. And now to add some turkey pepperoni. Now for me on the blue plan, five slices of this turkey pepperoni is zero points, so that's what I'm gonna use. I had some leftover bell peppers that I had chopped up for a recipe that I used earlier this week, so I'm just gonna use the leftovers from that to put on my pizza. And then I'm just gonna put a few chopped cherry tomatoes on here. And last but not least, because I like a little bit of kick to, on my pizzas, I'm gonna put a little bit of this diced jalapeno peppers on there. Okay, so my oven has been preheating to 350 degrees. I'm just gonna put this in the oven and I'm gonna set my timer for about 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. You wanna make sure that that cheese is nice and melted. After about 10 minutes, go ahead and switch it over to the broiler and just put that pizza on the top shelf, get it close to that broiler. Keep an eye on it, make sure that cheese is nice and golden and melted. And then for the finishing touch, I'm just gonna add a little sprinkle of garlic powder and crushed red pepper flakes. And that's it, that's one of my favorite ways to use this zero point marinara. I hope you guys enjoy and find different ways to use it. Thanks so much for watching, see you next time.